Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back in the video day, and the Chicago Bulls have beat and eliminated the Toronto Raptors in the NBA play-in game, 9-10 game. As a great game tonight. Huge comeback by the Chicago Bulls. Down 19 points in this game. Came back with a, with a started to make a little bit of a run in the third quarter. Big run in the fourth quarter, outscoring them by 13 points. And great basketball played by the Chicago Bulls. And a great comeback in this one. And let's get into it. Like I said, great win for the Chicago Bulls as they win 109-105 to 105 in a 19-point comeback. And the Toronto Raptors are eliminated. And the Chicago Bulls will face the Miami Heat on Friday. I would assume at either 6 or 6.30. And they will face each other for... The eight seed. Whoever wins on Friday, the Bulls or the Heat will be the eight seed of the NBA playoffs and face the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. So that that's going to be a really you know good game, I think, between the Bulls and the Heat. I'm really excited for that one on Friday. Let's go over the stats from today's game. This was down to the wire. Uh, bad free throw shooting from Pascal Siakam and the Raptors unable unable to score in their last possession because Raptors you're down 107 104 you got the ball it's three point game Siakam takes the three he was fouled on the three makes the first free throw misses the next misses the other the, the, the third one as well and then you're down two or you're down yeah you're down two and then you have to foul the Bulls Vucevic makes two free throws it's a four point game Raptors took two shots couldn't make any of it Bulls got the rebound it's game over so um the Raptors had some problems at the end with free throw shooting for Siakam and not being able to score and tried to you know, potentially getting another chance to potentially tie or take the lead. Who knows what would happen? Because if you hit one of those buckets, it's a one point game. Then you got to keep playing the foul game. You don't even have a timeout either. So I don't think it would have even gone good for them. Even if they would have scored a bucket when it was a four point game, still would have had a Bulls win probably, most likely. Let's go with the scoring from this one. 39 points for Zach Levine. Uh, for the he was a leading scorer for, for this for the Chicago Bulls and this whole game he had 39, 23 for DeRozan, uh, 14 for Vucevic in clutch free throws at the end he had 13 rebounds, he had and then, and then Caruso had nine and Beverly had three, 10 for Pat Williams, nine for Kobe White and two for Andre Drummond and that is it for scoring off the bench zero for Dusuma who only played six minutes and well Drummond only played four minutes so. And then Derek Jones played five minutes, and he had zero. So, I mean, their bench, they only had two guys getting a lot of minutes with Kobe White and Patrick Williams getting both 25. Besides that, you had two guys off the bench getting some minutes. Then Derek Jones, five. Dusuma, six. Four, Drummond. So they were keeping it, you know, really short on who was playing. A lot of players were, you know, in the lineup a lot. With Levine getting 40 minutes. And then Vucevic and DeRozan both getting 39 uh, the Bulls' rotation tonight was uh, was very, you know, there wasn't that much, wasn't that packed. But, yeah, let's get into it for the Raptors scoring. Their leading scorer was Pascal Siakam with 32 points, 5 for 11 from the free throw line. That's what probably killed them in this game was free throw shooting by Siakam. Shot 18 for 36, made 18 free, made, made missed out 18 free throws. Six missed, six six misses for Siakam, five for Onanobi, three for Barnes, three for Van Vliet, who's you know point guard and a good shooter. One for Jakob Pertl. So free throw missed free throws are what hurt the Toronto Raptors in this ball game. Twenty six for Van Vliet, twelve rebounds, eight assists. He did pretty well in this one. Three for six at the free throw line, seven for thirteen. Shot the ball, shot the ball well. And then what else do you have? What else? Scoring wise, starters OG had 13, Barnes had 19 and 10, and Jakob Bertel had 7 and 8. And then off the bench, only two scores off the bench. Gary Trent Jr. played 17 minutes and only scored two points and six for Precious Ajua. Only scored nine minutes. Only played nine minutes. So look at the, I mean, the minutes for the bench, you know, same thing. You know, only seven for Boucher, nine for Ajua, 17 for Gary Trent Jr., and two for Will Barden. A lot of, and in a game like this where it's do or die, uh, bench players are not being looked at that much um, besides Kobe White and Pat Williams of the Bucks. I mean, of the Bulls. But, I mean, the highest minutes off the bench for the Raptors was 17, and then you, then you had 9, 7, and 2. So, Raptors and the Bulls were trying to do their best 
and the, trying to do their best to win this game and keep the best players in possible to win that game. But the Bulls win it 109-105. to 105. They'll move on, play the Heat in, on Friday to see who's going to be the 8th seed in the Eastern Conference and face the Bucks. So you guys have your thoughts on the game for today. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.